guys, what's up? It's Pasky Love here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time on my channel, please be sure to hit the red subscribe button to join the family, join the squad because you are definitely welcome here. Today's video is all about feminine health. We're going to talk about menstrual cycles and how to have a better cycle. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. you guys I'm coming here because I'm someone who used to have the worst periods the worst cramps my cramps used to literally be from hell I'm the person that had cramps that was so bad that I was not able to go to school I would have to leave work because it was so horrible I'm talking about rolling up and down on the bed on the floor you're crying you're dying. Whoa! Oh! Somebody! Oh! He needs God. some milk! And I decided that's it. I'm over it. I'm gonna make that change. I'm going to do some research and change my lifestyle. And I've been doing a lot of things throughout the years that helped me a whole lot. And that's the reason why I wanted to come on here and just sit down with you guys, sister to sister, have a girls talk, just to have the conversation because I feel like a lot of people avoid these conversations and I wish someone was to come to me when I was younger and tell me about this because I could have prevented so many horrible days, bad cramps and just literally suffering. So I've done a lot of changes and a lot of things have worked for me. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. I have a lot of tips for you guys. I don't want you guys to skip throughout this video. Please be patient and watch it because you don't want to miss a thing. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing you want to do is to stay on top of your period and in order to do that you need to document and monitor your cycle you need to know exactly when you're going to have it you don't want to be that person when you go to the doctor and they ask you oh when was your last cycle and you're just like um I don't know like no you need to stay on top of it think about your period like something you're expecting and you know it's coming so you have to be prepared ahead now if you're watching this video obviously you're using some type of device you have internet somehow and you're able to watch the video so if you have a smartphone all you have to do is download a menstrual cycle app i have the p tracker app this is not a sponsored video it's just what i've been using for years feel free to download any app you want most of them i feel like majority of them are free so please go ahead and download one it's going to help you tremendously whether you have an android or an iphone all you have to do is go on the app store just put period tracker if you put period tracker or menstrual cycle or whatever you put you're gonna have a bunch of results and just go ahead read the reviews download any type of app you want you just want to have somewhere where you can document when it starts and when it ends and you can even um, document whether or not you are having any symptoms so definitely look into that now if you're someone who don't want to have it on your phone and you want to have it either written in a journal or an actual calendar please feel free to do so but this is just what works for me wherever I go I have my phone with me so it's just easy to just have it on an app where I can just open the app and it just helps you to know whether or not you have irregular periods or regular periods. I know a lot of people have irregular menstrual cycles where they have their period every other month. If that's you, you still want to go ahead and get an app where you can monitor your period. The second thing you want to do, you guys, is lifestyle changes. Monitor what you're putting inside of your body because believe it or not, it's going to affect your period. It's going to affect the severity of your cramps. Please be very aware of what you eat right before your period. I'm talking a couple of days before. It could be a week before. Foods to avoid right before you get your menstrual cycle. So when you have your period, you should try to avoid salty foods like fries, chips, and fried and processed foods high in salt. In your body, wherever salt goes, water goes. So eating a lot of salt will increase water retention, which will cause bloating that leads to painful cramps. 
So when your cravings kick in, opt out for a healthier snack like trail mix. Try picking the kind with pumpkin seeds high in magnesium and zinc, which aids in reducing PMS or premenstrual symptoms, including cramps. Next, we have sugar. This includes processed sugars found in cakes, cupcakes, donuts, candies, and sodas. These high sugar foods can disrupt our natural blood sugar levels, which will lead to tension on the body, causing an increase in cramps. Sugar is also inflammatory and has the ability to cause bloating and intensify cramps. So when your sugar cravings kick in, indulge in some dark chocolate which contains magnesium and can help alleviate cramps. Chocolate also contains endorphins, a happy hormone which helps to improve your mood. So feel free to enjoy a delicious bar of dark chocolate, dark chocolate covered strawberries or fresh fruits. Next thing you should avoid on your period is coffee. Believe it or not, your delicious cup of frappe or cappuccino can make your cramps significantly worse because caffeine increases estrogen levels which worsens PMS symptoms. Although hot drinks can help to avoid painful bloating during menstruation, you may want to leave out your hot cup of coffee and instead have some caffeine-free herbal tea. Later on in the video, I mentioned some of my favorite herbal teas to have on your menstrual cycle, so be sure to keep on watching. Next food you should avoid on your period is red meat. This includes your favorite steak, burgers, hot dogs, goat, duck curry, oxtails, and baby back ribs to name a few. Red meat is high in saturated fat and increases inflammation in the body, which leads to cramps. They also worsen constipation, which will intensify bloating and cramps. So instead, have some salmon or a salmon burger rich in omega-3 fatty acids, which reduces inflammation and aid in general pain relief. Next, you should avoid alcohol. Alcohol can dehydrate your body and thicken the menstrual fluid and blood, making it more difficult to pass and therefore intensify already excruciating period cramps. So instead, have an alcohol-free cocktail or a refreshing fruit smoothie or delicious smoothie bowl. You should also avoid gassy foods that cause bloating like cabbage, beans, broccoli, corn, and cheese because the body naturally get an increase in gas leading to gas cramps during the menstrual cycle. You should try your best to avoid gassy foods which will intensify gas cramps. Instead, have foods that help to fight bloating such as avocado, ginger, turmeric, herbal teas, and probiotics. I'll get into more details with probiotics later on in the video, so be sure to keep on watching. So you guys, the next tip I have for you is to change the type of pad that you're using. Now, believe it or not, a lot of the popular pads out there, if you do your research or even look at the box, a lot of them are full of toxic things that don't belong near your vagina, near your productive organs whatsoever. And when you make the change, you will see such a huge difference. And I found out about this piece of information I was super surprised and I was like, wow, like I have to make a change. I just have to do it. So I went ahead and switched over to organic pads, cotton pads, and I saw a huge difference. That's me to have less cramps. It caused my periods to last a little bit shorter. It also caused me to bleed less. So that's the changes I saw for myself. Yeah, it definitely made a difference. Now a brand I love using is the brand Real Organics. This one you can find on Target. Whether you go to Target, whether you go to your drugstore, there are so many different brands. Be mindful of what you're using down there. Try to put some time into it. Read the labels. Make sure it says organic. Make sure it says cotton. Besides changing your diet, I think that's like the number one thing because trust me, when I was using those pads full of toxic things that don't belong down there, I had horrible cramps. And the minute I switched over, I kid you not, I saw a huge difference. The brand Royale, like I said, this is just the brand that I like using. This is not a sponsored video. You can use whatever brand you like. This is one that I like. They come in the regular pack. They also have the overnight pack that I like to use the first two days or even at night time. I love that. It also comes with panty liners. The panty liners are perfect. I like to use the panty liners on like the last day of my period when you know, okay, like it's basically done, but like you have a little some some. You know what I'm talking about. So I just love to use that. This is made without fragrance. 
It doesn't have chlorine. It doesn't have pesticides. It doesn't have artificial dyes, toxic adhesives. No acetone, styrene, chloroform, non-GMO. Doesn't have polyester or other toxic ingredients. So I just love that. You can use whatever brand you want to use. Just please think about switching over to something more natural. Another brand I like using is the Healthy Pads, the Lily Pads. This is a cotton pad. I get this one from the brand Nini Femme Health. It's a black owned business. There are so many brands out there that carry organic pads, cotton pads. They also have tampons if you're a tampons girl. So definitely look into it. I know some people use the cloth pads. I've watched a couple videos about that, but I don't know if that lifestyle is for me. But cotton pads made a huge difference. So you guys definitely look into that. Now the first thing I like to use is teas. On my period, right before my period, the first three days of my period, I love drinking hot tea throughout the day. And one of my favorite ones to drink is red raspberry leaf tea. I use the brand Traditional Medicinals, but you can go ahead and use whatever brand you like as long as it's raspberry leaf tea. I was put onto this and I'm so grateful to have found about raspberry leaf because when I tell you it makes such a difference see in particular it supports healthy menstruation it tones the uterus and it may be used for menstrual cramps it's a really good tea for women to drink and definitely look into it you guys you could get the tea bag ones you could get the herbal ones that you can just infuse by yourself just really look into a tea next thing is taking supplements now if you're someone who don't take supplements you may want to start looking into that because you are bleeding you want to go ahead and replace that in one way or another so one thing you can do is eat foods high in iron drink a lot of beet juice one thing I like taking is the mega food blood builder supplement this is what the bottle looks like and you guys, this is an iron pill that I love to take. This one is organic, non-GMO. It has vitamin C, vitamin B12, iron, and it has beets in it. It helps to increase your iron levels without the horrible side effects. Now you know, when you take iron, it causes you to be constipated. But with this one, it doesn't cause constipation, which is amazing. Which is why I love this blood builder. I got this off of Amazon. This is not sponsored. You can go ahead and take any iron supplement you want. It's just if you're not getting enough from your food, you may want to look into a supplement. And I really love using this one. I'm going to show you guys what the pill looks like really quickly. What the pill looks like. Now another supplement I love, love, love taking. The first one is the Moon Cycle by the Hoodie Mahatra. This one is a blend of amazing herbs. This formula is directed specifically for your menstrual cycle. I love taking the moon cycle. Whenever I take it, I do see a huge difference. Another one I started taking this year in 2020 is the Nini Femme Health Don't Cramp My Style Menstrual Support. This is what the container looks like. And you guys, I love using this one as well. I see such a huge difference. So the day before my period, I would take this. Um, on my period, I would take this for like the first two or three days. Because by the third day, I don't really get much cramps, to be honest with you guys. But the first two days and the day before, I love taking this. And again, this is another herbal supplement. It's a blend that have a bunch of amazing herbs formulated for the menstrual cycles in particular. And again, it's another herbal supplement. This is what the pill looks like. This one has valerian, cramp bark, white peony. Just amazing herbs that's really good for that. So, absolutely recommend this. The next supplement that I want to recommend is maca. It is rich in vitamins and minerals and has been used for centuries to help balance hormones and for sexual health. It has been shown to ease PMS symptoms and also helped women with infertility issues and women with menopausal discomfort. It's also been used to help women with PCOS due to its ability to reduce estrogen levels. Maca is available in a powder form which can be used in smoothies, oats, soups, and baked goods. It also comes in a pill form. Although maca has many benefits, 
If you have thyroid problems, however, you should refrain from using maca. And if you are breastfeeding or taking hormone-related medications, you definitely want to speak to your provider prior to taking this. Now, the other thing I love doing is warm packs. I don't know about you guys, but I hate cramps. Uh, this one, I got it from Shein. It's pink with some lashes on it. It's so adorable. And basically, the way it works, you unscrew the top, you pour in your hot water, and it lasts for about 30 minutes or more based on how hot your water is. I think there's time it lasts me like a good 45 minutes. And once it gets cold, I just open it back up and I just pour the water out. Put it on my lower abdomen. I sometimes put it on my back when I lay flat. So I absolutely love this thing. You don't have to use this. In the past, what I used to do, I would take like a water bottle and I would put hot water in it. And I would screw the top really well to make sure it doesn't open up. And I would fold it in like a t-shirt or something and use that and I was like you know what I'm tired of doing that I want to invest in like a warm pack or something and that's the reason why I went ahead and got this one I also want to add that with heat therapy you can also take a hot shower to help ease menstrual cramps hot showers have been shown to be as effective as over-the-counter pain medication so one thing I love doing is using relaxing soaps in the shower such as lavender soap or chamomile soap and if you want to take it a step further Feel free to have a relaxing herbal bath by adding dried lavender or dried chamomile to your bath. You can even add Epsom salt in your warm bath. Epsom salt can be used to reduce muscle cramping due to its magnesium content. And chamomile and lavender are known as relaxing herbs. You can also substitute the herbs for essential oils like chamomile essential oil, which helps to reduce muscle and joint pains, as well as lavender essential oil, which aids in reducing menstrual cramps. Next thing is massages. I don't know what it does, but it just works, you guys. Okay, if you can massage yourself, you know, rub your lower abdomen area. You can rub your back if it's your shoulder that's hurting. Or you can get your significant other or family member to give you a massage. Now, when massaging, you want to make sure you're using something that's helping your body to relax and calm you down a little bit. And I love using these two massaging oils. So the first one is the Aurastasia Relaxing Lavender Body Oil. And I love using this oil because it just, you know, lavender helps to relax your body. And I just love to use that to just, you know, massage my body whenever I'm cramping. The next one I love using is this African Formula BioPure Female Harmony Oil. And it helps to soothe and ease the discomfort of crankiness, blues, and common depression associated with the cycle of cleansing or the menstrual cycle. This one doesn't have any minerals, any synthetic ingredients. And if you look at the ingredients, it has amazing ingredients. It has chamomile, which you know helps to relax you further. So this oil in general, it's formulated to specifically help you with cramps. And that's the reason why I love it so much. You don't have to get this one. Like I said, this is not a sponsored video. This is just what I love using. And as you can see, it looks so messed up because I've had this for like such a long time. And I love using this. It smells amazing. If you want, you can look up cramping oils massage oils for cramps so definitely look into any type of oil of that sort but this is the brand that i love using so now with bloating another thing you can do is to either increase prebiotics probiotics just to help with the whole bloating situation now if you're someone who's lactose intolerant in the first place you definitely shouldn't be eating any dairy products because that's only gonna cause you to be even more bloated and why would you want to do that right before you get your period like besides avoiding gassy foods and food that's gonna cause you to be bloated you do want to go ahead and take prebiotics probiotic you can go ahead and try taking different supplements like um kombucha i love drinking kombucha another thing you can do is getting prebiotics and probiotic supplements now one i love using is the zenwise health daily digestive enzymes with prebiotics and probiotics this specific brand helps you with digestion it helps with bloating um 
it gives you more energy and it also helps with absorption of food also gluten free and before i have my period or while i'm on my period i love to go ahead and take this because it helps with bloating a whole lot and also if you're constipated it's also gonna help you being bloated and constipated it's gonna make your cramps 10 times worse so i love taking this and this one has a lot of great ingredients like ginger root powder and papaya fruit powder turmeric root powder peppermint leaf extract with like a whole blend of probiotics so definitely look into this this is not a sponsored video i just wanted to go ahead and mention this for you guys next thing that helps my menstrual cramps is music therapy studies have shown that music can help decrease pain levels due to the release of endorphins specific music are designed to help reduce the severity of pain such as audio with delta alpha waves or binaural beats what i normally do is go on youtube and look up relaxing music for cramps and so many videos come up on the search bar and the audio in these videos have frequencies that target brain waves to help decrease pain i've tried many of these videos and they definitely help so be sure to check them out The next thing is doing aerobic exercise, which is exercise that requires oxygen. It helps your body produce endorphins, which make you feel good and also increase blood circulation throughout your body, which reduces menstrual pain. My favorite aerobic exercise is dancing. Not only it serves as a great form of distraction, it just helps ease the pain whenever I'm cramping. So instead of curling up in a ball in pain, put on a Zumba class dancing video. They are very easy to find on YouTube and just go ahead and have some fun. Studies have shown that they greatly help with discomfort of menstrual cramps. So feel free to party it up and relieve those cramps. Another thing that I love doing which requires way less energy is stretching yoga. There are many different poses that you can do that help you relieve pain and tension on the pelvis, painful joints and muscles. So feel free to look up yoga stretches videos for menstrual cramps. There are tons on YouTube that you can watch. If your cramps are intolerable, taking a nap is sure to help. Having adequate rest can help reducing menstrual cramps. So before you take a painkiller as a last resort, try taking a nap because 99.99% .99 of the times I notice that they help relieve pain. If you're having difficulty falling asleep, try taking a relaxing tea prior. My favorite to have is chamomile tea. Chamomile tea is rich in anti-inflammatory properties which helps to relax sore muscles and ease menstrual cramps as well as lessening PMS symptoms. So feel free to enjoy a warm cup of caffeine-free chamomile tea. If you try everything I've tried in this video and it doesn't work for you, then you may want to go ahead and visit an OBGYN because it may be something more serious like either fibroids, um, it could be PCOS, it could be endometriosis. So you definitely want to go ahead and check out a provider to see if it's something way more serious that's causing you to have serious cramps. So now another tip I want to throw out there is just two of my favorite feminine wash and I get these from the brand Nini Femme Health. Now of course you always want to feel fresh down there especially during your period and I'm not the one to go around recommending people for soaps because you're not supposed to even use soaps down there honestly but a lot of the ones that I see that they sell, the popular brands, those ones, they cause you to get a BV, they cause you to get a yeast infection because they throw off your pH balance. And if you do want to get a soap to help you feel a bit more fresher during that time of the month, you definitely want to go ahead and invest in a soap that's all natural, chemical free, non-GMO, pH balance with no fragrance, no parabens, none of those toxic chemicals. Now, of course, you know, even if it's something that's organic and natural and chemical free, no dyes, no fragrance, you still want to be very careful. So just because I'm recommending these, I'm not saying to literally put it up there. No soap is supposed to go up there because that's going to mess up your pH balance if you put anything up there as well. It's just I'm saying it's safe to use in your feminine area 
to wash the outside of it I use this on a regular and I love to use this one on my cycles so yeah I definitely recommend these soaps to you guys so you guys that's all for this video thank you guys so much for watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and before you leave please go ahead and watch this next video